Hi, my name is Anil Nair and I'm an aerospace engineering student here at UCLA. I'm going to help you by going over some math concepts and examples. Good luck. For our third example, we have f of x equals x to the k over 1 plus x to the k with x greater than or equal to 0, where x is a positive integer greater than 1. So first, we're going to define where f is increasing and decreasing. So we take the first derivative. Um, you have to do the quotient rule. And once you do that, you get k x to the k minus 1 over 1 plus x to the k squared. And check where this is 0. Um, and when you do that, um, it only happens when x is 0, which is the end of our interval. Plug anything else in for x, you get a positive for f prime. So f is increasing on the open interval 0 to positive infinity. Um, now we're told to find where f is concave up, concave down. So for that, you take the second derivative. After a pretty messy motion rule, f double prime k x to the k minus 2 over 1 plus x to the k all third times negative k plus 1 x to the k plus k minus 1. And if we set that equal to 0, um, we get x equals 0 from up here. And we get um, this, <clears throat> this factor equal to 0. And we solve for x to the k. We get k minus 1 over negative. Um, sorry, um, this should be 1 minus k over negative k plus 1, which is a minus 1 over k plus 1. And solving for x, we get x equals k minus 1 over k plus 1 to the 1 over k. And check the sine graph of f double prime. By plugging in large positive values, um, we see that f double prime is negative past our inflection point. And well, we don't know it's an inflection point yet. If we plug in negative values, large negative values, uh, or values close to zero, since we're stopping at zero, we get positive. So um, See, this is an inflection point, and x is concave up on the interval 0 to our inflection point, and x is concave down on the interval from the inflection point to positive infinity. For C, we're to find if X has any horizontal asymptotes. So we take the limit as X approaches infinity. Ref of X, we don't even bother with negative infinity because it's not in our domain. And this is the limit as X approaches, X approaches infinity of X to the K, or 1 plus X to the K. And since both of these have the same degree, we just look at their coefficients, which are both 1. So we have horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. 
And now we're told to use this information to sketch F. So we know there is horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. But we also know that F is always increasing. So it has to be approaching this asymptote from the bottom. Um, you know, F is 0 is 0 if you plug in 0. And we have an inflection point at k minus 1 over k plus 1 to the 1 over k. And before that, we're concave up and increasing. And after that, we're concave down. And so a graph should look something like this. Lay drunk into the night, want to keep you here. Cause you drive my team